Namaste, love and light, star seeds. I hope all is well with you guys. I send y'all my love and light, abundance, and prosperity. Y'all, I'm hearing the song, hear me, wait, hit me with your best shot. Or hit him with your best shot. I feel like y'all about to hit him with your best shot. Okay, and that best shot, I feel like that best shot, honestly, is going to be one of your best. Okay, it's so weird how I'm seeing it. It's like... This best shot, you're not even going to need to show them your best shot. I feel like these karmas already know what your best shot is, okay? I mean, you're hitting high scores, but listen, yas, um, I send y'all love, light, abundance, and prosperity, okay? If y'all like to donate to me and my channel, follow me on Instagram. Please check my description box down below, okay? I hope um, you guys have a great Wednesday. Happy summer solstice day. So I've been tapping in with my fairy cards and the fairies been giving me some beautiful messages, you guys. So um I just look light and abundance. Wow. Your light is attracting so much abundance. Your light is also innocent. And that's the reason why you're able to, you know, ask and receive from the most high away from the cosmos is because your light is innocent. It's not false, it's not a lie, it's not, you know, to trick people or to blind people purposely okay it is honest all right i feel like somebody was like definitely going around like you know lying on you and shit that's what i feel i feel that strongly and people are starting to see like your light like you know you ain't like this i feel like people always saw your light all right people could have listened to this person lies but they really didn't take heed to it because they feel like you know this person got issues too they should be the last one talking about somebody right some of you guys may need to fast to clear your crown all right, some of y'all may need to work with Shiva, meditate with Shiva to help clear your crown. I feel like y'all dealing with a karmic trying to block your crown chakra so you won't know what's going on with them, what they're trying to do to you behind your back, what they're even saying about you behind your back because they know that you can pick up on those type of things. This was an op. This was a devil in your life and they try to convince you and themselves into believing that they're a good person in your life. They're meant to be in your life. They're not doing anything wrong to you. You know, what you're doing is wrong and you shouldn't be knowing this this is someone that's selfish and you know they did not see both sides to it because they're selfish okay this is someone that's jealous of your light your light is your stardom you guys are a star and your stardom is attracting a lot of abundance here i feel like you guys have your fairy wings your earth angel wings your crown all right there's a huge i don't know what you will call this but this is what the greeks will wear i guess it would be like a crown a form of a crown but it's huge all right, I feel like this is supposed to be over our head, but I guess it's connected with the wings. All right, listen, you guys are winning as well. Winning these wars, these battles with the karmics, and that's why you're able to receive. Look all this abundance. The lotus flower is standing out. So your crown is opening up to a lot of creative ideas. Are right, you receiving like a creative spark in your crown? Like, ooh, aha, that's perfect. That's a good idea. Oh, I should. Or you manifesting with your mind. <clears throat> all right creating that vision within and, and 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 um making it tangible executing that vision making it real you guys have a lot of abundance on the way golden rain golden rain is like rain of gold here golden rain it's going to be raining gold for you okay am i jealous of your children too all right your children's life maybe because your children get to be in your life and and they can't somebody's like very petty with their jealousy You're entitled for this. This is, yeah, you see that with confirmation. You're entitled um, to this abundance, for this abundance, okay? Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks. That's why I was getting a lotus flower. Release those mental blocks, okay? Because a lot of you guys, you're going to be tapping into a lot of creative ideas. All right, release any mental blocks you may have. In fairyland and human land, there's enough abundance for everyone. You see, this is someone that's, has scarcity mindsets and they also do like scarcity tactics shit like this is someone that just simply don't believe that they're worthy of this windfall of abundance that you are attracting this is someone that don't feel like they're worthy of having light within them because they've done so much dirt all right they went against god so much here yeah this is someone that lost their spirit and they're trying to find and, and regain their spirit through you, but they ain't doing it right. They need to heal. All right, this is someone that's probably trying to, like, heal through sex. We can heal a lot through sex, sexual healing. Like, no, because they have dirty energy. They ain't coming with healing energy. They coming with STDs, demons, and all extra shit, dirty sperm. They're not coming with no healing energy. 
All right, they're a liar. This is someone, they blatantly lied on you. Somebody blatantly lied and said you was doing magic on them so you can, like, take their spirit from them. They was blatantly lying on you, star seeds. This is a lost soul that was lying on you. They, listen, they gain inspiration from you to get their life together, to get themselves back on track. And they felt this, they felt... All right, and and um, they felt this inspiration, and and they even found whatever they were looking for within them through your inspiration because you are so pure. They knew that you wasn't lying. Whatever goodness you said, all right, that inspired them. They know you wasn't lying. It's their own demons in their head, and demons attached to their back too, weighing them down. They got demons weighing them down because they're not repenting, asking for forgiveness, going to God. They're not giving their issues to God. They're claiming that they are, but. You know, they're saying clearly I ain't doing enough. I don't this person is lying and saying they're praying out their Bible and they're not praying. They could be sending out prayers to God, yeah, but these prayers for them to get what they want in life. It's not for them to really be fixed. All right, they're not trying to fix themselves. Somebody name starts with an A, R, or L. Look. L A. Some of y'all gonna be traveling to L A here. Somebody took a huge L and you got a big fat A. All right, look at that. This is spirit just be one of them little metaphors out there all right listen you're protected i feel like y'all gonna be taking a flight to la private jet here listen just know you're gonna be protected flying all right i feel like some of y'all could be afraid of that all right yeah i feel like y'all gonna be meeting up with people in la here coming together this could be like a group of friends i don't know or you're gonna be meeting your soul tribe in la you can have a soul tribe member in la okay p all right i'm key i always hear penelope always hear that fucking name Okay. Let me know one of y'all name is Penelope. It used to be Penelope. All right, but um what is that? LAX? Yeah, but I'm also getting um an airport in New York. Let me see. Not JFK. The other one. Some of y'all gonna be traveling from like LA, New York. I don't know why I got that with P, but I got the Lagarnia Airport. All right, the Lagarnia. I don't know LGA. All right, some of y'all may fly into Buffalo. Okay, Albany, Newick. All right, Long Island. I even know Long Island had an airport. Okay, that would be a lot easier for me and my mom to fly. All right, but um, we ain't traveling to New York anytime soon. But I feel like y'all gonna be like taking like either connecting flights or back to back flights. All right, because I feel like that's a part of your job or your purpose. For a lot of you guys, you may travel around to, like, you know, do a, to, to do your job here. All right, I feel like, you know, there's definitely someone. They're, like, seeing all this for you, and they're trying to block you, cause blockages on your soul, your life path, which is connected with your soul, so you won't integrate with this. But all they're doing is blocking themselves and, and giving you the opportunities to actually fulfill this, okay? You guys are very protected, all right? The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring ring of love and light. Again, that light is standing out. Your light is strong. They can't they can't bend or break you. They can't make you crack. None of that. All right. It says practice psychic protection before embarking any uh, embarking upon any spiritual work. I feel like some of you guys do spiritual work. I know a lot of y'all be in the comments saying, I don't do this, I don't do that, and I believe y'all. But I feel like for some of you guys, you you get a candle. All right, you do your spiritual work, you're not wrong with that. You know, we don't judge nobody. I know we deal with karmics that do illegal black magic, but that don't mean that we're bad people. That doesn't mean that we can't explore our magical side. Fuck them. We're going to do what's best for us, right? But you guys are protected, literally. This fairy wing, um, ring, <laughs> wing, this fairy ring of protection is protecting you guys. I feel like y'all can't believe you got all this damn abundance. All right, someone was trying to stand or something, someone or something was trying to stand in the way of you receiving your abundance, but that's protected. Like, your abundance is protected, okay? Somebody keeps saying, like, oh, you just, you keep saying the same old thing or your energy is just the same. Somebody was bored with your energy because you wasn't fulfilling them. You wasn't entertaining them enough. And you wasn't even trying to entertain they motherfucking ass. Well, some of you guys, you wasn't even entertaining them. Okay, they just, they just started, like, talking bad, saying you boring. You're this, you're that. Oh, you need to work on yourself. These are, like, random people telling you you need to work on yourself. Random people that are ops, okay? I feel like there's a good batch of people that actually support you, but then it's like y'all had, like, 
a batch of bad people trying to bash you and make you feel bad about yourself y'all got a lot of abundance on the way you guys are really pure you're not a liar you never lied on this person this person lied on you they're trying to make it seem like they're an angel they're such an angel they know they're not no fucking angel what the fuck is wrong with them they know that they're not an angel and they could be trying to say that about you or you think you an earth angel you think you this magical fairy you are the hell you ain't listen this person trying to say you're not an angel now because you don't want to deal with them you don't want to heal them after they lied, slandered, tried to take your life, take your soul. Yeah, now all of a sudden, you supposed to open up to them? Nuh-uh. You'll be causing yourself an imbalance. Some of y'all could be Libras. You'll be calling yourself an imbalance if you allow this person back in your life. They Listen, they don't need a piece of your abundance. They know you're abundant. They know you're an angel. That's why they going around spreading lies and rumors telling people you think you're an angel. You think you're so blessed. All right, you think you holding this this golden chalice and, and, and you, you got devil's energy. You know, you ain't this, you ain't that. Nah, 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 nah. Like these people are clearly jealous. It's like they're trying to convince people to see from how to from to, to see you how the way they see you, shift their perspective. And I don't feel like it's working. I feel like it got people looking at them funny, like, why are you even saying these things? It's like this person may think they got people convinced. It could be certain people they got convinced, but not everybody. They may have fooled one person. Now they think they can fool everybody. The whole community I'm hearing, they can't fool the whole community. Because not everyone in the community is low vibrational like the person who they fooled. And I feel like you don't really give a fuck if, you know, some of y'all working on, like, oils, okay? Like, I'm getting carrier oil. Some of you guys make your own oils, money oils, protection oils, chakra oils, cleansing chakra oils. I feel like that's a good idea. All right, chakra cleansing oils. Listen. I'm sorry, I just jumped, but that's what came to me, all right? I forgot what I was saying about this person, but nonetheless, I feel like there is someone as well around you that don't know how to share the space. It's like they want to they wanna come up with the new coolest ideas first, all right? All right and, 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 and it's like, this is someone that also likes when people copy them so they can brag about it. Like, oh, this person's copying me, so they can, like, talk about them, okay? This is a waste of time. Listen. I want everyone to make a chakra cleansing, cleansing oil. Get you a carrier oil. You can use olive oil, coconut oil, almond oil, sweet almond oil, oil that's good for the skin. If you want to get oil that's good for the hair, you can dab a little on your crown. You can do a little of that too. All right, and create. I mean, like, we can all create oils, but I feel like, you know, our energy is what makes it different and stand out from the rest. All right, so I feel like you definitely do have somebody around you. I had someone around you that did not want to share the space. They may claim they're an angel or earth angel, right? But they got to have first. You know, and this is also someone that is a copycat because I'm here, monkey see, monkey do. All right, this is someone that will, like, copy and, and, and backbite off other people, all right, and then, and I feel like these are people who they don't even know. Like, let's just say they're watching somebody randomly online. Like, they'll backbite off of them, and they figure, hey, you don't know me, I don't know you. Other people won't know, you know, but people start to figure it out because they do it to other people, too, that's around them. They just think that they're slick, or people won't know, or people won't say nothing to them, you know, because they're such a manipulator. They'd be like, oh, what about sharing the space? What about this, that, and the third? Even though they know they're being cunning and calculated as hell to take from you. All right, these people is no good. I feel like these people was waiting for you to fail. And they still could be waiting for you to fail. And I feel like the more they wait for you to fail, the more they ask is going to fail. It's a waste of time for them to wait for you to fail, Starseeds. I'm not even about to get all reactive. It's just a waste of time. I feel like they want you to be reactive. They want you to get like a reaction, chemical reaction here. I'm getting reactive. Somebody got cancer. You see, someone is trying to manifest cancer in your life with spell work. And that's going to be the death of them because you believe in God. God is not going to allow no cancer to happen. They, this is someone that wants you to believe that they're stronger than God or they can make God go against you. And all they all they're going to do is make God zap them from heaven. Okay, God is in Zeus mode right now and zapping their ass from the other side. They need to stop fucking playing. All right, these people are, low, are losers, low lives. They're fucking scumbags and they thinking they can control the most high to take you out, to give you cancer. You have reactive blood cells. Listen, y'all don't deserve that shit. Y'all ain't about to be motherfucking waking up with cancer. They asses is. That's probably why they're going bald. All right, they, they probably got to go through chemotherapy and shit. That's on them. Next time, don't use Byron Sandy, I'm getting specifically because he can he can put diseases on people. You shouldn't be wanting to use Byron to place no disease on no damn body, especially when he can give life and he can heal cancerous diseases and stuff like that, STDs and stuff. That should be one of the last things, okay, that you should be using. And I feel like this is someone that's trying to say you wrong, you're wrong about the spirits, how the way you use the spirits is wrong, how the way you see them is wrong. And these people are wrong. This is this is someone that was that was like shit. 
will use shit for their rituals. You get what I'm saying? To protect themselves. Oh, I'm going to get some dog shit. I know there's some people that will, that will go low, will, will go that far with their hoodoo. And no, I'm not. No offense. But I feel like this is someone that they're like trying to, I guess, use their own shit. I don't know. I, I saw that online. Somebody used, you know, well, it was like a protection ritual to protect yourself from somebody. You get like some dog shit and their picture and all that. I don't know if this person saw that online or they was told get some shit, get some even cat pee. All right. It's, it may sound disgusting to us, but back in the day, we had to do what we had to do to protect ourselves. But we, we not in them times. All right. You don't need to use dog shit. Okay. You got to use your own shit. All right. You can just block a person, but if, you know, to each his own. Right. But what I'm getting is that this is someone all right, that is complete shit. And they got some nerve, okay, to, like, try you. Like, no. Let me just keep going. Because there was something else I was getting, too. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, yeah, there, there we go. It's like this person, they try to put out there for you. Like, every time you use the spirit, it will go wrong. Every time you use the spirit, something bad will happen. You know what's crazy? You receive nothing but blessings from the spirits because you ain't using them wrong. This is an idiot. I'm sorry I was with such a damn idiot. I'm so sorry. This idiot, I'm listen, money I name on IG is 333. Y'all could have been dealing with someone just like this. A person with 333 in their name if you watching me, okay? But some of y'all could be seeing it. But this is an idiot. They really thought that they could have power over you and your new beginning, even your children. All right, this could have been a false friend. They're dying. They're spiritually dead. All right, as above, so below. They dead in the 5D. They spirit is, is no more. It's no life in that spirit. They're going to be dumped to the bottomless pit abyss. All right, there's no spark within them. They may just be fucking dead, okay? And they're going to be dead soon in the 3D, okay? That's what they get for playing around with your protection spells. It could have been a whole group of their asses all trying to break your protection so they can kill you. You a Satanist. You're not earth angel. You're not of God. You're a Satanist. You work for the devil. You're not a part of Ifa. You're not a part of Voodoo. You're a Satanist. You just came on this lifetime mass as Ifa Voodoo to fool people. You're a Satanist. I want you to know that. You're a Satanist. You're going into a fucking group to break someone's protection. You're a Satanist. The hell you came and listen, you spiritually you a Satanist. You you team devil. You're masking yourself as an earth angel, light worker, Ifa. You are a demon. No one sat in their fucking house with a group of people and tried to break your protection karmic, but that's what you did with us. Wanna know why? Because you're demonic. You're a demon. Okay, you need to accept that demonic side of you so you can heal it. All right, a lot of these karmics sold they sold to the devil to have lavish lifestyles, and the devil laughing at their asses. Even these celebrities, they're being laughed at, at the, by the devil because that shit ain't going to last. That shit is not going to last, y'all. But I'm not even about to go there. I see protests happening again. I do see more protests coming. All right, I feel like this person was tempted by the devil. And that's what fucked up their intention. Their intention was, like, very devilish. Like, All right, they had devilish-like intentions. Okay, devilish like intentions that backfired on them. On them, okay? Devilish like intention. And people who did listen to this idiot, I feel like they feel real dumb. They feel bad, all right, about themselves and dumb. And I feel like they feel bad because they know they only listen to them because they didn't like you. All right, they would jump in the bandwagon. All right, some of you guys, why am I getting nanny? All right, a uh, nana. Nah, nah. Some of y'all going to be a grandma. Some of y'all a grandma in the future life, okay? I'm seeing that. Some of y'all actually a grandmother. So that lets me know you're going to live a full um life here on this earth, okay? I do see that. You're going to fulfill that. All right. That's what I'm seeing. That means you're going to live a full life. You're going to have a grandma in your future. You're going to be a grandma in the future. Okay? And I'm seeing you guys could be a grandma now, somewhere in another realm. But that means, you know, anyway, your future is bright. All right? Yeah, y'all meant to celebrate. 
You guys are meant to celebrate your life. Celebrate this new journey that you guys are embarking. This is your spiritual journey. This is you manifesting your dreams and you're protecting it. I feel like somebody wants to know more about your dreams with this tree wisdom. Like, tell me more. Tell me more about yourself. And, and it's like a part of you know they just want to be nosy. They ain't going to do nothing. You know, this is someone that say, I want to work with you. You know, I want to do good. You know, come on, tell me more. And it's like, no, I don't want to work with you because I don't trust you. All right, you guys are a whole tree dryad, okay? Listen, you got a whole tree wisdom within you, whole tree wisdom within you. You guys have a lot of hope and wisdom. And I feel like you guys are powerful with your divination skills, even if this is just prayer, speaking things out into existence, thinking it. It's powerful. And this is why this person want to come towards you. They want to come near you, star seeds. Okay? It's a masculine too want to come towards you because you're magical, magical. He's like, oh, you can manifest me some money. You can manifest me a better um, house or life. And this is someone that's like, nah, uh I'm again, this is someone that don't want to do the work. All right? So spirit's like, nah, uh you can't help them. We can't, we're not going to help you help them. And this is like, I'm seeing a few spirits pop a leg by one of them, your ancestors. They're like, I'm not helping this person. You can ask your ancestors to, to help. But I feel like this person, demons, is not going to allow you to help them. Their demons like them where they are. Okay? And they put these demons on themselves by them doing wicked and evil. That's their, that's, that's, that's on them. Somebody trying to say, come outside. Yeah, somebody trying to fight you saying, oh, come outside. Come outside. I feel like in moderation. Some, what? Somebody trying to fight you in moderation. What I'm getting with that is like, somebody's like, oh, you know, I want to fight you, but I ain't going to be fighting you like that. Or this is someone that be like, I, oh, this is someone that says like, I don't want to fight like that. I don't want to fight like that. I don't want to fight no more. Somebody trying to say they don't want to fight no more. I don't feel like they haven't fought at all. All right. Somebody's trying to be like, catch me outside, girl. You remember she got her ass whooped. All right. She's, I ain't going to say she can't defend herself at all. Okay. But she is like all mouth. I feel like someone is all mouth and they could be trying to use size against you. Oh, I'm thicker. I'm stronger. But this is someone they can easily just slip and fall while they in the, in the ring. Like they slipping on a banana peel. All right. This is someone that would say like, oh, they, they, I don't know why I'm getting with that moderation. Maybe this is someone that said that they was going to fight you so much that they called that shit on to them and now somebody want to fight them or somebody coming at them with hostile energy. All right. Or they're like, I don't want to fight no more. Like I wanted to fight, but not anymore. You know, I want to fight like that. All right. Somebody go, someone go to the club and fight or somebody is going to go to the club and fight somebody. Like they're going to hear like this person is at the club at such and such club. All right. And one of y'all posted that y'all went to the club. Y'all be careful at the club now. I don't want y'all to get set up, but... I see a karmic going to a club in the future. All right, that's not you guys. Okay, a karmic, she deserves this, all right? One of her op friends is going to tell another op that don't like her, hey, she's going to this club. And it's going to be like razor blades and shit. It's going to be really bad. This could even be in New York because razor blades. They shouldn't even be doing this shit in New York no more. But, you know, who am I to judge, okay? I feel like somebody trying to be like, catch me outside, girl. And they're trying to fight you because you're light. You're magical. You're, color, you're colorful. A few people wanted to fight you. They're like, oh, you pretending that you all love and lie, but yeah, you're doing this. You don't even know these people. Some of you guys, I don't know them like that for them to judge you. They're just jumping to conclusions because you guys are in better energy than them. All right, that's it. Your vibration is higher. And like I said on my shorts, all right, you guys have an angelic frequency that these karmic just, you know... They couldn't stand. They felt it. They couldn't stand it. And you guys come from powerful lunar energy. All right. Powers of the moon. Okay. Like literally. All right. Your mother could be a powerful moon goddess. Okay. This, the moon is mother energy here. I feel like. Okay. So my name starts with a W first, last, or middle initial. All right. Or M. I'm just being mirrored. These people was writing your name down and shit. Your first and last name on petitions and your energy. It's still pure. Anytime, every time they'll put your name on petition. Like I said, they got to put some respect on your name. But every time they did, spirit will purify that. Spirit will wash that away and send it back to this damn evil person. They need protection. They're not protected anymore. The karmics are not protected. I feel like they're wasting their precious time waiting on you to fail because they're not protected. They can they can get hit anytime by their spells. But that's going to happen unexpectedly. I feel like you try to warn them, like, you better chill out. All right, nature going to come for that ass. And they was like, nature would never come for me. Nature would never come for me because I am blah, blah, blah. Whatever they trying to say about themselves. Okay. I was going to use my, um, I keep staring at this deck. I know Oshun is on the is on the front of the deck. All right, is Oshun watching us? Was this karmic sending Oshun to watch us? 
Cause I listen, I had a karmic attack in me with Oshun, like it was nothing, like it was like nothing could happen to her. That's what she was thinking. And um, what I'm getting from this is that I feel like some of you guys are being attacked by your karmic too with Oshun, and she's watching over you. Yeah, I, this karmic was trying to use Oshun to manifest against me in my life, and I feel like Oshun is helping you manifest. Yeah, you see, ooh, I told you, Sukuya. Next to manifestation, it was a Sukuya trying to manifest against you because she's in scarcity mindset. She see that you are brazen, brave and shameless and courageous. And she don't like that. She don't like that you're overcoming her spells and you speaking up against her nonsense. She like, she's too intimidated by you. She's too intimidated by you, Starcy. So she has to, you know, lie, manipulate and stuff. She said, yeah, your intuition is on point. Your intuition be calling her ass out. Your intuition be picking up on her energy and she don't like it. All right, she don't like that her intuition, I mean, that your intuition is picking up on it. And I don't feel like she like her intuition. I don't feel like she like the fact that her intuition can't pick up on your energy. I feel like some of you guys, you can't stand picking up on this energy. These cards may think you enjoy picking up on the energy. No, because the energy comes with attachments. They have heavy energy. All right, you feel that heavy burden, that heavy weight, all right, on your shoulders or on your chest. Like, you feel that heart heavy, like, like they hide something, like they want to tell you something, but they scared. All right, I don't know what they want to tell you. What is it that they want? I feel like there's somebody that want to tell you something about the karmic or like this karmic. They be around you and they be scared, like they be sweating, like you know they want to tell you the truth, but they're afraid because they feel like you know you're gonna back away from them. That's your own choice. They can't make you stay with them. But I feel like you're very confident with your intuition. Like you're not afraid to call out the bullshit. You're not afraid to speak up. That's what make. That's a part of what also makes you a star. That's a part of what makes you a star. Also, is that you're not afraid to speak up because you came on this planet to speak up, speak out, speak up, and speak out against the nonsense. Speak up for other souls that can't speak up for themselves, like what I do. All right, calling out these damn karmics, helping you guys get your power back. All right, yeah, you're helping other souls feel liberated and free by speaking up for them. All right, and you're helping yourself feel liberated and free. I feel like there's a motherfucking karmic with this mask that wants you to also help them become liberated and free of their spell works, their darkness, their thoughts, their projections. But they don't want to do the proper work. Look, Queen Mother Nanny, this is what I was seeing Nanny too. All right, some of you guys are like Queen Mother Nanny here. Okay, look her up. All right, let me read. Let me read her. Okay, I feel like you got the strength encourages her. All right, your grandma is significant as well queen mother nanny of the maroons was a spiritual leader military strategist and revolutionary wow you guys with this this is military strategist you guys are definitely like military strategists for god literally you came on this earth to be a military strategist a true spiritual leader because that's who you are and a revolutionary all right, because you are here a part of this spiritual evolution for all souls. And you need to guide them and lead them. All right, this Ashanti healer was brought to Jamaica in chains and, is, in chains and escaped to lead rebellions. Bam! Then I fucking say, and I always say you're here to set set free the souls that's entrapped within this matrix, that's entrapped within their own darkness. All right, you a whole queen mother nanny. The only difference is that you in a whole nother era and you're an earth angel. All right, it says Nanny helped to free over 800 enslaved people. All right, another Ter Harriet Tubman. All right, only difference is that she was in Jamaica, so you know the island is different than the country, right? And 800 is a hell of a lot of people that she's freed. All right, listen, I can't make nothing up. You guys are here breaking free the souls that are enslaved psychologically and soul on a soul level. You had motherfucking karmics around you trying to say, they're not entrapped. They're not chained. But now they feel that way now. Now they need your help. But nope, they're going to have to watch you help people to actually appreciate you being a queen mother nanny in their fucking life. All right? Break free. Your dreams hold the power and keys to your liberation. You are freedom herself. Rise up. Don't I always tell y'all, man, your dreams? Listen! I can't make nothing up. The collective dream. We all come in. Where my book? Where my book? Hold on. Hold on. Because people think I come on here to lie, to sound cute, to sound spiritual. Like, I got time for that. The fuck? Because your dumb ass coming on here is trying to sound spiritual. What they got to do with me? Because you fake. Okay? 
And so let me go ahead and read this. Hopefully this is the part that I was looking for. Because I don't want to waste too much time. Okay, yeah. Keep in mind, she says, your dreams hold the power and keys to your liberation. All right, what stand out is your dreams. Okay? Humans are dreaming all the time. All right, now let me go up a little more. All right, let me see, let me see. All right. It says the dream of the planet, okay? What you are seeing and hearing right now is nothing but a dream. Sorry if I stumble over my words, okay? What you are seeing and hearing right now is nothing but a dream. You are dreaming right now in this moment. All right, remember I came up with a poem, right? And this inspired me to come up with it, okay? You are dreaming right now in this moment. You are dreaming with the, with the brain awake. Stimulation. We're all living in a simulation. I'm God, you're God, we're God. Let me stop. <laughs> Say that. Let me stop. I'm gonna cut that out though. I'm gonna cut it out because that's sacred. That's sacred. All right. Dreaming is the main function of the brain. Dreaming is the main function in the brain. That's the, you know, we all live in an illusion, right? Which would be the dream. And and the brain is what helps us function in this dream, what helps us understand what's real and not real in the dream. You know what I mean? Like what's actually reality in the dream and what's actually an illusion somewhere in the 4D somewhere. All right. Dreaming is the main fo fo function of the brain, and the main and the mind dreams twenty four hours a day. It dreams when the brain is awake, and it also dreams when the brain is asleep. All right. The difference is that when the brain is awake, there is a material frame that makes us perceive things in a linear a linear way. Okay. Where we, when we go to sleep, we do not have that frame, and the dream has the tendency to change constantly. You see on earth we are linear all right you know we just we can't go back all we can do is move forward but in the quantum we can go all over all right so that's pretty awesome and we do bring down a lot of stuff from the quantum back on this planet to help expand us on the planet i mean obviously in the 3d like i said we can't go back we can only move forward unless we tapping into the subconscious all right humans are dreaming all the time before we were born the humans before us created a big outside dream that we will call society's dream or the dream of the planet. Stimulation! Or oh, simulation. All right. <laughs> the dream of the planet is the collective dream of billions of smaller personal dreams, which together create a dream of a family, a dream of a community, a dream of a city, a dream of a, con a country, a and finally a dream of the, of the whole humanity. The dream of this of the planet includes all the society rules, its beliefs, its laws, its religion, and its different culture and the ways to be, its government, schools. Understand all that is changing. All that is changing. But the main focus is that you guys came here with a dream to add on to the collective dream. If someone can't connect the dots because they can't comprehend spirituality or karmic, I feel you here with your dumb ass. All right, that typically means you we're all connected. All right, just like, you know, let's just say you guys are gamers. All right, you have a dream to, you know, come online and show people your gaming skills and, 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 and that'll help you connect with the world. Like, people, honestly, you guys, people watching other gamers is healing. At least for me. It's like watching tarot is healing, watching ASMR, food, vlogs, all right? We can't judge a person, all right, because they may receive healing by watching, you know, a Corey Kitchen video opposed to them watching tarot. You know, you can't judge them because that man is pretty funny. And his videos are entertaining. All right, it's healing. All right, so my daughter watch him. I don't watch him. But he is funny and he's pretty big. Shout out to him, all right? He's pretty big and, and um, he believes in God, so. <laughs> but uh, I feel like somebody just don't get how they can add in their dream to the collective dream. Somebody may, I feel like somebody may feel like their dream is not fit for the collective. You see, this is what's blocking you, motherfucker. Because you probably trying to be a Satanist while you, while you also trying to integrate with a bunch of fucking earth angels. That ain't going to work. And not everyone's collective dream is a, well, not everyone's dream is a part of the collective for the collective. It's just for them. Those mofos got to go. Okay? All right, it's another standout. Just to help, you know, the idiot understand. All right, because I know you're still here even after I cursed you out. 
We are born with the capacity to learn how to dream. And the humans who live before us teach us how to dream the way society dreams. So understand the society dream is, is changing. All of giving celebrities attention, you know, all this extra stuff that's happening, government, all that extra stuff, that's changing. Our collective dream is going to be how it used to be back in ancient times. You know, oneness, okay? And all of us light workers that's tapping in and waking up to our purpose is a part of this real collective dream. All right, so that's why your dreams are so important to the, to the you know, the karmic that like to steal candies for babies, which aka your dreams, karmic that like to shit on your dreams. This is to let them know that your dream matters and it's a part of this collective dream slash reality. All right, understand your mission is real. Okay, your mission is needed. All right, I can't stand people that be trying to like shit on other people's dreams. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why you just can't be happy for somebody? You know what I'm saying? Why you gotta be like, oh, I doubt that would happen. You know, that would never work out. Like, why? You I'm not gonna be reactive. Let me just keep going. All right, my dreams empower me. And you see, the slaves had a dream to be set free and they executed that. All right that dream to make it a reality all right so you have listen if somebody want to say oh you you where, where your results you put in all this hard work and i don't see nothing coming this is this is a crap they need a loan they need a loan they need money don't allow them to doubt you because they they want to see you at a see you somewhere and you're not ready to for that place to be it all right whatever ignore them okay you deserve to feel free what do you imagine for yourself Daring to manifest your dreams is a part of liber um, personal liberation. You remember I said personal dreams. Your dreams matter for this real collective dream, this real simulation. Okay? This real deal simulation. Find your own personal liberation codes in your soul unspoken desires. Liberation codes. You guys have light codes within you that helps you, that you have to awaken to that help you feel liberated and free. These are chains that you're breaking. Understand, you know... Somebody may say, you know, that's stupid. What's the, what, why we need liberation codes? Get out of here. I'm feeling somebody say that. Like, who is this? You don't understand DNA coding and how, you know, our personality reside in our DNA, even our spiritual awakening, our life is in our DNA. You don't get that. Okay. Listen, life is too short to live within someone else's story. It really is, Carmen. You living within our story, trying to figure out our story. And, and we are whole, um, Psychopedia, okay. We are a whole, you know, Webster dictionary that's in a foreign ass language. You're not gonna understand us, all right? You just not. Divine blessings and magic are on your side. Enjoy your freedom fully. It's the best gift to your ancestors. Your ancestors want you to enjoy this liberation energy. All right. Again, find your own personal liberation codes in your in your soul's unspoken desires. All right, that that's the chain that you're breaking free. That darkness. What is what is keeping you chained and bound from feeling liberated? From you unlocking that liberation code within you that's going to keep you shining. Is it a karmic? Is it a person? Get their asses out of your energy. All right, listen, man. I'm telling you, somebody is feeling real salty right now. I can feel your ass. You salty because you're getting cursed out. And you don't like it. All right, my dreams empower me. Again, listen. Shout out to her, man. She really, I'm feeling her spirit. She really did free a lot of slaves. She was strong. She was very gorgeous. All right, but she had like a strong, um, like her physical self was like, you could tell like she was strong, built, okay? And I don't say muscular, but you could tell she was strong. Shout out to her, man. Listen, we break it free from this true enslavement. This is a motherfucker want to say, oh, I know about the government keeping us enslaved. But you doing the exact same thing that the government want to keep that, that the government wants you to do to keep yourself enslaved. You know, they want to say, what are you doing? You ain't doing nothing better. Da -da 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 -da. They ain't doing what they ain't on your level. They damn sure ain't doing what you doing. They ain't praying for the things you praying for. They're not praying for everybody. They're not, not they're not here to be a healer for everyone. I feel like someone was just really jealous because you are a good Samaritan. Literally, you're a good Samaritan, and they're mad about that. All right, they was in their feelings, and they was masking it. This could have been a fake friend. They really felt some type of way. I don't know why, you guys. I feel like it just all starts from within, within themselves. They can't control themselves, all right? It's all started within themselves, you guys. I feel like you guys are just strong. They see you strong and conquering and, 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 and overpowered, all right, in a good way, all right, overpowered because it's like they trying to attack you. 
okay and they're like trying to pretend like this is someone that they they fake they looking at themselves as fake now because that's who they are they're fake they wasn't being real with you none of them was being real with you i don't know why they all thought it was being real like they living in a real delusion and they're like oh we you know we just didn't want to say this to hurt your feelings you're not hurting my feelings by keeping me in a lie you're hurting my feelings by fucking you know not telling the truth i would rather you know you hurt me all right, then you fucking lie and, and try to protect me because you're not really protecting me. I feel like you're protecting your own feelings. I feel like these people were too afraid to tell you how they felt because they was afraid of you hurting their little feelings. Like, I don't want you to hurt my feelings. I ain't going to say anything because I know what you want to say. So why are you in your ego? Get out of your ego. This is someone that is still entrapped by the Matrix. They, they may be aware of the government this. They still doing dumb shit that's keeping them distracted. They're still feeding into what the government wants. They may be like, well... How am I doing that? I don't vote. All right, but you you still, you know, abide to society, you know, per perception of you, all right? You you still, you know, out here doing low vibrational shit. That the 1% plus is like, all right? You still in fear. You're not in love, okay? You're not in love frequency. And some of them be like, I don't know how to be in love frequency. I don't, like, they're too depressed and they want to put that on you, you guys. Listen, this got nothing to do with y'all. You, listen, you went through enough. You're the wounded healer. You went through too fucking much. These motherfuckers never asked you what you went through. All right, and then they'll say, oh, I ain't going to ask because I know you ain't going through nothing. You see, these are the type of people that get shot. All right, I'm, I don't even mean to say it like that, but that, maybe this person projected that on you because they mad that you're speaking your truth. No, they the type of people that will get shot because they out here putting their shit on people, driving, trying to drive people insane. Okay, like, why would you even want to say some shit like that anyways about a divine feminine or masculine? All right, that's why it's coming out right now. But, you know, they, when I'm saying that they, this type of person to get shot because they said that shit. Okay, I feel like they wanted you shot. All right, I feel like they getting shot by spirit. All right, we expose a karmic use of their ancestors for guns and shit. I feel like your ancestors showing up with the gun. Get the gun. This person's heart is bad. You see, this person will also judge you, too. You will probably say, like, curse. You'll say certain things or you'll have your moments when you just, like, you know, care not carefree, but, you know, just, you know, you're not. I don't want to say not worried. I want to get the right thing. It's like, you know, maybe, because I feel like you guys are living spiritual. This person may be trying to say, you know, you may smoke your herb. You may curse. You know, you may listen to a certain amount of music, a certain type of music, I mean. And they're trying to say, oh, you're not spiritual because of that. You see, these people are ignorant, too. You see, a person ignorance can get them killed as well, okay? A person ignorance can get them killed, all righty? And, um... This person may feel like you want them dead because they wanted you dead. I don't know. I feel like somebody's really lost, star seeds. All right. I feel like somebody is really fucking lost. All right. And it's like they lost and they can't understand how you come from this divine lineage, how you manifested all this for yourself. Somebody, like, why is it any of their business? Somebody made it their fucking business to, like, know all this stuff about you. And it was, and I feel like they betrayed you in the worst way. For, like, somebody was all in your business and they was doing spell work to go against what you got coming in. This is a devil. This is evil. For them to say they ain't evil, they're not a devil and stuff. I feel like these people, they think of you and get mad because they didn't get their way. But when it's, it's like they didn't get their way around you as, as, or, 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 you know, they didn't get over on you as far as like their spells. But they need to fucking get, stop getting mad about how, about how they didn't get their way, get out the inner child and just acknowledge that they was wrong about you. All right. The reason why they didn't get their way is not just because you're protected. It's because they was wrong about you. If you was doing something to hurt these people, I'm sure God would have taught you a lesson. All right. You didn't do anything to hurt these people. All right. They're trying to say you're playing victim by saying that. How? You don't even fucking know them. For a lot of you guys, you don't know them. How are you playing victim? Then they'll be sitting there looking stupid. Well, you know things. You know, I don't know what you know. Like, why are you jealous because we psychics? Why are you jealous because we we mediums? That's like that gotta be it because you making up stuff. I feel like these people are trying to piss me off. I'm not about to get mad, y'all. I'm, I'm definitely not. I, I feel like it's a waste of time even getting upset. All right, I feel like these people are more mad at the fact that they was wrong and they don't know what they're doing with their life right now. Scarcity came out again. They're max, they in scarcity energy. This is someone that don't know how to heal from their wounds. This is someone that will cause people pain. 
all right in the past they will cause people pain and like get away with it but this time they can't get away with it with you because they had no business of fucking with you a lot of y'all y'all didn't know this person like that for them to be coming at you you know what i'm saying you didn't know them like that and then they could be thinking that shit now all right and and it's and it's like this is someone that's still trying to protest against you like speak against you well it's like you said something that hurt them so now they're in competition they're like i want to hurt you too they're going to hell all right, all they're doing is just sinking themselves more and more into hell. They're self-sabotaging themselves, trying to ruin your joy, trying to piss you off because you said something that made them mad. They're wasting their time, star seeds. This is someone that know they wasted their time. They know their intuition was wrong. They don't know. It's like they even thinking like they don't know you. Y'all don't know each other like that. This is just someone that was in deep-rooted competition, all right, jealous of your, your starlight, she wanted to absorb that, he wanted to absorb that, this is a Jezebel, either Jezebel, man or woman, all right, they hurt, all right, they, they, it's like, this is someone that saw you as karmic as well, because you didn't give a fuck about the typical shit that people give a fuck about, like, you didn't give them that type of attention or time of day, all right, like, and they, it's like, this person was also trying to say you a karmic because you doing spell work on them. They're like, they know you doing death spells on them. For what? Why do you need to do death spells? And they'd be like, because you know my destiny. What destiny? I feel like they know your destiny, which they do. They watching and they trying to stop your destiny. That's just what it is. And they trying to flip it on you. These people going to hell. I'm telling you, they done sold, they sold a long time ago. They going straight to hell. Or I'm getting, honestly, the bottomless pit of bitch. They could be in the hell state right now. All right, they, they could be in a hell state. They're going to the bottomless pit abyss. All right, but you just know right now, they're in a hell state. Mind, body, and spirit, they're in a, a, a hell state. You can look at them and tell they look bad, okay? And, and they're really jealous of you, all right, because you don't give a fuck about them. All right, this is someone that was trying to block your healing, block your growth, block you from planting seeds for nothing. You didn't even know this, but this is like a bully. This is someone that just like to randomly fuck with people. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's very much triggering, all right, like they really, I feel like you triggered them. Honestly, I feel like your light triggered them and they were trying to trigger you. I feel like the stuff you was finding out about them, what they were doing to you, triggered you a bit because you're like, I don't even know you. Why are you going so hard? You know, assuming that you know shit. For some of you guys, they wanted to fight you. And they would have did all that shit for the They would have been in jail for, for a battery charge, abuse premeditated murder, attempted murder, they would have been going to jail for that shit over some delusion, over their damn demons. Over their fucking demons here. All right, it's the past. It's these karmic people. They have not forgiven you for the past. You did nothing wrong. They need to forgive themselves, Star Seeds. I should be saying they need to forgive themselves. Some of you guys, they want to talk to you. and for It's like, talk to you for what? About nothing. All right, like, some of you guys, they want to talk about, like, you know, this could be an ex. Oh, wish we could move away together. But what? No, there's no. There's no moving away together. What the freak? A lot of you guys moved on from the past. Like, these people, this could have, um, somebody was trying to call you ugly. Like, you look ugly. You look bad. These people, man, they waking up looking like trolls every fucking day. Ugly trolls, okay? Ugly ogres. Just for speaking against your beauty and you not even like that. It's like somebody, some, what? Somebody trying to say you jealous of their girlfriend? Some masculine said that he's going to die. Just for speaking against you like that. Because you're not jealous of no one's girlfriend. I feel like this bitch know that. All right? It's almost like this bitch feel like connected with you. Like she wants to be a friend. All right? That's what I'm getting. The two of cups I just love is also, you know, a soul connection. All right? This could be a friendship. Okay? I feel like they, like who, who was trying to read this? Like, I'm also getting somebody who's trying to read cards like you or, or try to read your cards better. This is some, man, get the gun, spirit. Get the gun. This is someone with a big ass ego. They need, they need to humble. They need to go down a few. I'm seeing this person. They, it's like. They're, they're like they put themselves in this high pedestal and i'm seeing spirit like sinking them in the ground like they need to be put down a few notches all right they need to bring it down a few notches here okay because their ego is too fucking big all right they don't need to be comparing themselves to you because y'all not on the same level either all right but i feel like this this girlfriend knows she got problems this could have been a home girl okay she knows she got issues and i feel like she wants to reconnect with you or connect but she know that this damn boyfriend or this masculine all right is going to interfere with that all right i'm not even gonna lie to you somebody wants to like connect with you kick it with you but they can't because they got like a controlling masculine somebody wants to be your friend all right they see you celestial they see you ain't no bad person and not everyone that is into spirituality does dark magic and also you know dark magic is more sacred than, than what we thought i feel like this is someone that that'd be like oh i'm not afraid of anything 
but they afraid of magic and demons. But they be walking around here like, oh, I'm the boss. But yeah, you scared of demons and, and witches? The hell? Trying to win at all costs and you think you somebody and you, you, you was big mad. You was in devil's energy. All right, idle mind is the devil's playground. You was in the idle mind. You just, a car probably wasn't doing shit. It was probably home all day, just smoking, drinking. Devil mind is, a, I'm, I'm sorry. The idle mind is the devil's playground. This person, literally, their mind is the devil's playground. All right, and they lied purposely. They got people all worked up just to get a reaction, just to see what people will say, if people will agree with them. And I feel like they had a bunch of idiots looking at them agreeing. And, and all these idiots do drugs. They all do like high-level drugs or hardcore drugs, I should say, like crack, a meth, heroin. All right, they, they smoking their pills and shit. They smoking dirty. These people ain't got no common sense. And I feel like this karma think about this now. And they get even more jealous and more angry with themselves for not knowing better. Like, it was the drug. Whatever whatever they take, that shit made them think that shit. All right, this is someone that they need to fix their life. They try to curse your manifestation. They try to curse your kids. You see, this is why this girlfriend don't even want nothing to do with you now. Because she know what her, her fucking boyfriend was doing. I'm here, ex-boyfriend. So, let me God, this could be your ex-boyfriend and he had a third party. He was talking about you with the third party. And the third party actually wanted to be cool with you. So the only guy, this could be your baby dad. The third party was trying to be cool with you. But I feel like you ain't trusted. All right. Because you know she's going to go back and tell him shit. Like she can easily switch up because she's weak. All right. Or oh, this could have been a friend. And she had a, a, a boyfriend. And the boyfriend was attacking you. And the friend was just allowed. And I picked this up before. This is this is fake. They both could have been, you know, thinking you were doing some shit behind their back. But then they'll wake up the next day and realize that it's just them. God warned them. They, they didn't realize they was receiving re warnings from God. Listen, you don't want to receive warnings from God and then ignore it. All right? And typically those warnings would be, you know, those little niggles, those, those gut feelings like I shouldn't be doing this. Or you'll just get like a vision in your third eye to like, you know, the outcome if you were to do this and a lot of them ignore that sign because they don't even know what the fuck they picking up but yet they spiritual right they want to be spiritual but yet they don't understand what is this who is this from you know is it from god they don't know but yet they spiritual okay so they're fake spiritual my whole thing is these people was warned you don't want to be warned by god and then ignore those warnings because god is going to come at you full force and i feel like this person may know that god is going to come after them with their wrath and they scared I don't know why they thought trying to beat you at all costs was smart. I don't know why these people are even popping up. For a lot of you guys, these are people from your old past. You moved on from them. But apparently, they still attached to you. They want to see how you doing. They want to see how you coming up. They're going to die. I'm telling you that. But they shouldn't be checking up on you. You don't want nothing to do with these people. Yeah, you blocked them out. You blocked them from your mind, body, and spirit, and on social media. For a lot of you guys, you blocked them out. They should not. They should not still be watching you. All right, but some of you guys, you don't know who they are, so you didn't get a chance to block them, but they stalking you. And they thinking since, you know, you're, you know, some of you guys, y'all on a social media platform like me, your page is open, and they figure, hey, I can look you up. All right, but they're, they're, it's like this is someone that is taking advantage of their free will, and they about to lose it because they're using their free will to do fuckery when they can use their free will to heal themselves, okay? You block this devil from following you. See, this person was using Papa Legba as well. I'm, I'm, I'm getting they thought they was Haitian, all right? Or so somebody got Haitian in their blood, all right? And then they was told, oh, yeah, we can use Papa Legba. Papa Legba ain't moved no mountain for them. Papa Legba ain't moved not one time against you. Papa Legba is actually out on their ass. They may feel Papa Legba on their head a lot, all right, on their crown. All right, they scared. That's why they so damn scary. All right, that's what it's like. It's like they listen. Being fruitful comes with a call. What comes with a price? All right. Well, it comes with a cost. So it comes with a price. Okay, it does. That's what Papa Legba is saying. They wanted to be fruitful. They wanted to use Papa Legba to harm you and to receive blessings foot for foot. That's how he operate. I feel like you know they gotta have to work hard to get where they want to get to where they want to be in life or to get what they want. Both girlfriend and boyfriend is tied to Papa Legba. They both wanted to be fruitful. All right, and they got karma. Why am I hearing frugal? Frugal? All right, they, they're getting karma. I can't make it up for, for utilizing Papa Legba, for conjuring Papa Legba. They're not even conjurers. They did the wrong thing, the bad thing doing that shit. They were, they're not conjurers. 
They're not. They might have heard the name Conjurer and thought that was so cool, but that's the worst thing for their asses because they got too many demons on them already. They don't need any more attachments. All right, I'm telling you, I know what I'm saying. All right, and these people were convinced that you was doing spell work on them, and that's why they were sending you death notes, death spells, using um, Papa Leg Bob Bar and Samdi, all right, using Haitian voodoo, all right, then they thought they were going to get their way, and they got karma. Somebody within their family, within their bloodline is going to pass away. Their magic is going to work on them, They should, and then they're going to be holding a grudge against the spirits that's good. The spirits want that, so they can stay away from their ass, all right? Yeah, I feel like, listen, they want you to feel that way, too. You're not going to feel that way. The spirits love you. They communicate with you. They tell you everything. You're the page of cups. They love you. You're an innocent child. All right? You're an innocent child of the divine. All right? These people are jealous of that. You're a child of God. You're a child of the divine. They need healing. All they did was reveal to themselves that they feel worthless about themselves. And they use material things to make themselves feel good. But they're really insecure. All right? They're really insecure. I don't know why somebody keep bringing up whatever you said in the past. But that's going to be the death of them. Spirit, get the gun. Get the gun. All right? Listen. I feel like this person feel bad for even saying you deserve to get shot or you wouldn't get shot. Somebody gonna shoot you in the face. They was being real low vibrational. All right, and that's why I'm getting this is the type of person that will actually get S H O T H S H O O T because they're it's not it's not their mouth. It's their slimy ways. You get what I'm saying? Like sticks and stones may hurt my bones, but words will never hurt me. Especially if somebody in the wrong, you get what I'm saying? But there's crazy people out there, right? But these people ain't on that level. All right, but they think they are, but they're not. Because the moment they go to jail, they're going to be pissing and shitting themselves. All right, but this is someone that's very slimy. They got slimy ways, all right? They're, they're like, you know, that they, they like to steal from people, all right? Sham other people, lie, you know, and that's what's going to get their asses caught up. So they need to be careful trying to wish that on you. That shit can happen to their asses. Somebody really thought they was going to win. Like, oh, God is going to kill you for me. God's going to take you out. Watch. Like, this is someone that could be like an old, nasty man. Older than you. Thinking that God's going to choose his life over yours. That's why they falling apart. They could be trying to use material. I got a car. I got a good job. But they're not happy. And a lot of people know. a lot. There's a lot of people out there in this world that got money but just miserable. All right? Because they, they, they're not on earth. They haven't found their place on earth. All right? They don't know who they are. All right, this is, like, despicable. Yeah, you guys are getting your land back, your ancestry back. You're connected with your ancestors like Papa Legba. And this person trying to use Papa Legba against you. That was wrong. These are demons. All right, they, they, for the longest, they was running from that. Oh, I'm not a demon. I'm not a devil. Yes, you are. Their own parents called them evil. Look at them as a devil. That's who they are. All right, I feel like this person is crazy to think that God loved them and they're doing fuckery. You know what I mean? Like, uh, don't get me wrong. God, they want to say God love everybody. No. God don't love these murderers out here. He's compassionate. He's forgiving. But you got to repent. And that re you don't repent one time. You got to repent and actually show God that you mean it. Okay? This is someone that's not even repenting. They're not asking God for forgiveness. They don't even fuck with God. Okay? Listen, fashion witch, I feel like someone is just a fashion witch. All right? They only spiritual. All right? To look just for the good looks. All right, but I feel like you guys are natural. I feel like you guys are a fashionable witch, all right? Like, I feel like your spirits, your ancestors are attracted to you because they see that you are spiritual, all right? You're working on yourself, all right? It's like, these could be neighbors. They feel like, you know, they should have never moved over here. They were saying that about you, like, you should have never moved over here. Life was better before you came. Wow, for some of you guys, that was supposed to make you cry. I feel like it made them cry. Because that's how they felt towards you. And they was actually trying to, like, degrade you. Some of these people could have been trying to get you evicted, report you to the landlord and shit. You see, this is why they're crying. And they feel like, you know, bewitched. They bewitched themselves. They could have went to the fucking landlord, the office, and told them, you trying to bewitch them? All they did was just bless you. All right? All they did was just bless you. People look at you as a blessing. Like, like I'm even getting somebody looking at you like, girl, bless your heart. Because these people could see how this, these motherfuckers trying to take you down. All right? These people that's around your environment. They see that they're trying to take you down. These are people that's, like, older than you. Or people that have to lie. You know, they're just, like, angry. Okay? They're going around telling people you're a witch. And you work with your ancestors. Like, these people are fake. A lot of them smiled in your face and pretended like they know about this stuff. But then, like, was secretly scared. Like, oh, I don't really fuck with you because you a witch. I don't really fuck with that shit. And they never told you this shit in your fucking face. That's what got people looking at them funny. Like, why you ain't say something? 
Oh, I ain't gonna say none of that bitch. Know what she doing? Da, da, da. God gonna bless me. I'm doing right. I'm doing with no day. It's like for some of you guys, they could have had you like around, like in your house, like had you could have had them in your house. They could have been, you could have been in their house. Y'all could have been hanging out one time, and then they went around and talked about you with somebody else, saying, "Oh, I'm doing the right thing." You know, I'm not gonna say anything. God gonna like God gonna bless me by not saying nothing. But how God gonna bless you and you doing black magic on somebody? You was in Papa Legba and you was gossiping and shit, plotting to get them kicked out and shit. See, these people created this drama on them on themselves. They need to get out of their head. They may still be thinking you attacking them because they know that they attacked you. And they trying to say, I know how you are. They don't know how you are. They don't know you. All right, they need to stop saying that because that's what's going to get them killed. Get the gun, spirit. Get the gun. They need to stop being so triggered. They're mad. They're mad at themselves. That's their anger. That's their energy. They was always an angry person. They was always walking around here mad and angry, hate the world. They be like, fuck the world. That's their energy. Like, they always like that. You know, like, they just hate the world. They trying to say, fuck America. Motherfucker, you f listen. This may be somebody that's from America. But their roots and DNA culture is, is not even tied with this fucking planet. This is also someone that was trying to, like, say, like, they know more about the planets than you. Like, they know more about the... I don't know who this person is. They made themselves look... They are karmic. Your ancestors told you to stay away from them. For some of you guys, even though your ancestors warned you, you probably, you probably still went around. All right, around them um, a little bit, okay? I'm getting cop. All right, cop herbs, okay? Listen, I I'm not about to go there. All right, somebody's trying to say, like, you a cop or you a op. You see, a lot of people are trying to stay around you because they feel like you was an op here. How, the, how you an op? This is bad. I'm telling you, spirit, get the gun. I feel like these people were scared of you. They was afraid of you, and they lied, y'all. They got in their little inner child, and they just started lying. Mommy, daddy, she trying to beat me. She trying to hurt me. You ain't doing shit wrong. A lot of these people trying to say, you trying to send karma after them? How? They send the stuff you said, saying and sending karma. These people are crazy. These could be like a group of dumbass masculines, okay? A bunch of dumbass masculines. Okay, these motherfuckers is crazy. All right, I'm telling you that. I'm telling you, they feel weak compared to you. They feel like a simp. They feel like you would never want them. You would never need them. So let me just go ahead and slander you and make you look bad to people so people won't fuck with you. I, I feel like y'all never dealt with a demon like that. That just switched up and changed. They was two-faced it. Two-faced. This was a two-faced person. Y'all dealt with two-faced people. You just didn't deal with it on this high level. These people are like high level two-faced. All right, and then a lot of them, they're not even going to change. All right, and it's like they, they have enough emotions to get offended, but they don't have enough emotion or energy to forgive and be of love and light. Okay, I feel like honestly, these people, they don't trust you. And I feel like you, you don't trust them. I feel like you can't be around people who you can't trust. You can't be around people who you cannot trust, Starseeds. You just can't. If these people thinking you trying to set them up, do something to them, you got to. And it's like, it's weird because a part of them, somebody trying to mess with your mind or somebody's mind ain't bad. I feel like someone is, is trying to put this bad seed in someone else's head. All right. And it's like. It's creating some frictional confusion around them. I don't know if they believe in it or not. Like I said, some people did, some people didn't. All right. But with this specific person, I feel like they're confused. They don't know what to think. They don't know what to fucking believe. They really don't because they know that this person is slimy. They know this person could, is just saying shit just to say it. But at the same time, they want to know, is it true? That's why I said somebody may know the truth, but they're afraid to say it because they don't want to. And I said this before. All right. I think I said it for my members. Though. I don't know. But somebody is like, you know, I want to say something, but... At the same time, I don't fucking know. I don't want to get involved. Like, I don't want to make it seem like I'm coming with drama or I was talking about you with this person. They just came to me. I get it, but I feel like this, it got this person stuck in confusion, man. Like, they really want to know if it's true. If it's like, if whatever this person said about you, it's like they know it's not true, but they just want to hear it from your mouth. Like, what really happened? You know, this person going around saying some other shit. And, and they know, da 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 so they just need clarity. You get what I'm saying? And, and make themselves feel better, too. But you not like how these people trying to say. All right? It's like it's like somebody know that this person did something to you wrong. And they're trying to say it's not like that. It's your fault. It's the other way around or whatever like that. And, like, somebody could be trying to switch up the story now. Somebody's just trying to switch up the story. It's too late. It's way too late for them to switch up the story because they went around and told every damn body. And they was laughing at you, sticking their tongue out at you like, ah, ha. And they was even trying to make you think they're going to do more shit. These people looking at you as a bitch. Like, oh, you a bitch. You a you too crazy bitch. Oh, I'm a dude. Wow. 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 That's crazy. These people was trying to, like, really, like, fire off on you. 
All right, and, and you, some of y'all got kids in front of your kids. Wow. 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 Now I see why they going crazy in their head. They spiraling out. Wow. That's why you, y'all, uh-uh, uh-uh. There ain't no much voodoo in the world that's going to make me want to harm somebody in front of their kids, a feminine at that. Somebody was trying to, like, beat your face in. Wow. Mm-mm. I don't, listen, I hear a lot of people doing spell work on me. I'm not about to, listen, I be wanting to beat their ass. But it's not because they're doing the spells. It's, it's because you're attacking my kids. Oh, it's because you're stupid. You get what I'm saying? Right? But it's like, this person, they don't have a right to be in this energy. Their actions is not justified. Their thoughts is not justified. Because you're not doing anything wrong. These people are in your energy. You don't know nothing about these people. These people felt like you were going to lie to them. Wow. Because they a liar. And I feel like people is looking at them now like, wow. Like, they lied on you. Wow. Yeah, you taking care of yourself. They were just mad. Wow. This could have been a masculine that wanted you. Wow. He was going around making it seem like you crazy. Like, you got, like, you think you taking care of yourself. You think you doing, wow. This person trying to say, like, you a part of an occult. Illuminati. Wow. That's some fuck shit. You see, I keep saying, wow. If this person was saying some unbelievable shit about you. You don't even look like this type. I understand people want to judge, have their judgments, but make sure your judgments is right. Make sure it ain't your crack, your heroin, your myth, your, your, I mean, yeah, your myth, your, your fucking cocaine. Make sure it ain't your pills, your mollies and shit. And make sure you smoking some good ass weed. Make sure your weed ain't keeping you in paranoia. All right, because this motherfucker here thought they was picking up some right shit about you. I'm offended. I am offended. You have every right to be mad. Don't feel like you don't listen. This person want to make it seem like you have no right to be mad because you know that because they was wrong. No, you have every right to be mad. Motherfucker, don't you dare come in. They think you're not going to. They think you're not going to step to them or check them. They got another thing coming. All right, listen. Mofo, don't you ever come into our energy with your weird delusion. All right, with your weird ass delusion. You know you need to fucking heal. You got childhood issues, t um, teenage issues, adult issues. You got all these motherfucking issues and you want to sit up here and come out to somebody that's happy and healing. You, you can do this to a whole bunch of other people. There's a lot of people on this planet that heal. There's a lot of people on this planet that believe in spirituality. All right, you want to come after us because you feel like we an easy target, but you don't want to go after somebody else that's doing some shit, that's actually doing some shit to you. You deserve to go to hell or be in this hell state, and you deserve to be in the bottomless pit abyss because you thought we were soft because we believed in God. You thought because we believe in God that we soft. Like somebody won't come in and fucking break the bricks off your ass. You won't be trying to break the bricks off of somebody fucking else. Mother freaker. Mad. Because you a divine feminine. This is a bitch-ass nigga right here. This is a bitch, man, because he couldn't be a suck you bitch in your energy. So he want to go ahead and talk about you and your kid. Look a little jealous ass. Jealous. Jealous. And not Jonas. Not not the Jonas brothers jealous. Not Nick Jonas. No, I just get jealous. Yeah, this person do get jealous. But no, nah, this is an unhealthy jealous. Jealousy. This shit is bad. This shit is bad, bad, bad. And they know they ain't doing no motherfucking work to fix their jealousy. Look at them. In your shadow, mad. And they mad because your shadows is protecting you. And that they feel like your shadows is stopping them from healing. No, they stopping their own motherfucking self from healing. I'm telling you. These people want to sit up here and threaten you and shit. But they, little, they mad with their little inner child. Oh, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to do all this to you. And not, I, I feel like they're mad. They do this to get a reaction out of you and they become mad at themselves because they feel a part of them is low. Jealous. Jealous. You just so jealous. Jealous. Look at yourself in the mirror. Jealous. 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 Jealous ass suck you bis. Jealous ass ink you bis. Jealous ass suku ya. Jealous ass mad ass motherfucker. Embrace your shadow, motherfucker. Say, yeah, I am jealous because I had a hard not life. My life sucked. And I hate to see other people better. You need to motherfucking go to therapy. All right, with your little weird ass. All right, stay in your lane because we gonna feel you, motherfucker. These, some of these people think, oh, you don't know because you didn't say nothing to them. Blah, 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 blah. Well, they gonna know now. They gonna fucking know now. Hell wrong with them. Ain't nobody listen. They listen, they should have said something to you. They had issues with you first. They 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 trying to say why you ain't say nothing. Why you ain't say nothing? Why you in my face smiling and shit? Why you ain't say something, you ass, you ass hat, you asshole? Fuck out of here. And then they trying to turn 
other people against you, your friends. Like, listen, some of y'all, y'all even have friends, but somebody wanted to be your friend. All right, listen. This these people don't realize you don't need friends. They need friends. They're like, oh, I was just trying to be your friend. I don't want to be your friend. You think I need friends? I, my children are my friends. My spirit is my friend. My God, my Father God is my friend. Father Raw, yes, and I don't care if y'all ding dong ass karmas watching. Hold on, money. I don't care if y'all ding dong ass karmas watching. Don't believe that Raw is God. Y'all don't need. Y'all don't even believe in a God. You don't even know who God is in the fucking Bible. You don't even understand the Christ consciousness. You don't understand Kemet. You don't understand shit. You don't even understand the G the. J-E-W's that claim they was enslaved. You don't understand that story. You don't understand what happened in in, in um Israel. You don't know anything. But you want to come over here and try to check some damn body about Christ. Mommy. Mommy. Let me believe it. And then they want to get mad. You don't believe in Jesus? I never said I didn't believe in Jesus. I don't believe in the same Jesus you believe in. All right? I don't believe in that. Give all my power to Jesus. I'm a child of God, too. Come on, money. And a lot of us walk past like Jesus. All right, got slandered. All right, pretty much people throwing tomatoes at us, trying to sacrifice us and hang us because of, of, of our belief. And just believe. I mean, just, just yeah. Just believe your ass is going to resurrect. Okay? Just know and believe you're going to resurrect. It ain't going to take you three days. It's going to take you three seconds. All right? Because you're a legend. You're a legend. And a lot of y'all comments, how y'all know what you read in the Bible is true? Is your intuition tapped in so you can discern what's written by man and what's really, well, most of it was written by man, but what's really, what's written by man with lies and what's written by man with true in heart and true intentions? And I never said I didn't believe in the Bible. I never said I didn't believe in Jesus. Y'all be flip-flopping shit. The moment I say something that, that goes out of your comfort zone, you want to yell and scream. Oh, I, know, I don't see Jesus like that. I know you see Jesus as white. I know. Or Spanish. I know. I know. I know. But a lot of Spanish people are fucking black first. Afro-Latinas. You ain't Spaniard. Hell wrong with you. All right, but we legends over here. Even your shadows are legends. Papa Legball's a legend. I don't know why this mother... Look, you can gaslight. You can come over here and gaslight all you want. You sure can. You can come over here and gaslight all day, all night. It ain't going to change what you did. A lot of these Carmen trying to switch up their story now. But they can't switch up their story because they said that's, they said what they said about you like last year sometime. And they ain't expect for you to know. And now they're trying to cover it up. People like, uh-huh, you said this. You said, I'm going based off of what the fuck you said. And now Divine Feminine is defending herself. And now you want to switch it up because you know that's what you said and it was a fucking lie. So why you lie? Oh, I was on the drugs. I was on the drugs. That's what going to be told. I was, I was high on the drugs, man. I was high. I was, I was drunk off of liquor, man. You know, I was just horny, man. And I was mad because I couldn't get none from you, man. You know, man, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, listen, it's these, these, it's these funky masculines. All right. I feel like, hold on, money. There's a masculine that's a cheater. And he expected you to cheat on him. I mean, cheat with him and on his, and on his woman. He's about to get left by her because she's tired of getting cheated on. All right. And he ain't going to expect it. He, gonna, he really ain't going to have nobody. He thought he didn't have no one. He really ain't going to have no motherfucking body. Girl, hold on. Yeah. No. You know I want my baby covered. Don't do that. Yeah, you guys are covered. That's what God is saying. My baby is covered. Yes, you are God's baby. There's someone and then somebody wanna say that's weird. You're weird. You're weird for being in someone's energy who you don't know. You're weird for trying to cast a voodoo spell with Papa Legba and you barely know Legba. That's weird. That's weird to attack other people's kids because they love their kids and you would never love as a child. That's super weird. All right, 666. You think this is demonic, karmic? 666, are you scared? Are you afraid? Are you afraid of the devil that could creep out at night? Balance is needed. Karmic energy is here to be balanced out. Period. All right, they running. They running. <laughs> He's a runner. He's a track star. All right, he's trying to get up out of here. He's trying to, look, he's jealous. I can't make shit up. First of all, I'm getting, he's jealous of your masculine. Hella jealous. All right, he think, oh, he look better than me. Da, 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 stop. But look who came out. Papa Legba. They running from Papa Legba now because they got karma with Legba. Stop. They got karma with Legba. Ooh, and Frida, was they trying to do love spells on you? All right, karma. 
do, do, do. Somebody got karma with their card. Look, karma, that's your ass. Card, that was a warning from God. Karma. Do, do, do. You see, you got some people that be thinking, like, I pray to God. You know, I love God. That You're not exempt from karma. If I was to do some shit wrong that I know I ain't supposed to be doing, I'm going to get karma, even if I pray to God last night. Okay? Somebody could be a two-faced ass Gemini. Not all Geminis are two-faced. Not all of them. And this person could be a two-faced Gemini. Okay? Or like they talk a lot. All right? And they would be in two-faced. I told you somebody was being two-faced. All right? Gem Geminis could play devil's advocate. All right? And some, a lot of Geminis are intelligent. All right? They know exactly what they're saying. They know exactly what they're doing. So they'll say certain things, you know, just to get an answer out of you. All right? And Geminis also ruled by Mercury. Communicators, right? Great communicators. All right, Virgos too, but they're more reserved. Papa Legba is, you know, his planet is Mercury. He's a communicator as well. All right, so I want y'all to keep this in mind. All right, and Gemini's can be tricksters. I feel like this karma got tricked by Papa Legba. I feel like this person was trying to communicate with Papa Legba, open up the gates and the roads for Papa Legba to come, and they got they got cursed. They got cursed working with Papa Legba. Papa Legba don't like his, this person's kind. This is someone that got fruit flies in their DNA. Even if they melanated, they got fruit flies in their DNA. And then they did a lot of black magic. They did a lot of black magic that the spirits just don't fuck with. All right, that the spirits just don't fuck with. Some of you guys, this could be someone that's fair skin or white and they got fruit fly in their DNA. That's not for everybody. All right. They was gang stalking you. All right. Gang stalking with black magic. All right. They was ganging up on you, doing a whole bunch of black magic and stalking to see if it'll work. Hold on, baby. And you the light keeper. All right, put it back on her. None of none of their spells are gonna work because you hold light. You are the keeper of light, and you a twin flame. It's like a lot of people know that you in a relationship, so I don't know why people is thinking that you want to be with them. I feel like somebody is trying to attack, like project a demon into someone third eye to make them see like them, and then they'll be fucking going crazy. You not like that. I feel like somebody was swearing and projecting that you was like this type of person, and you're protected. I feel like people can see like you're protected, man, because you mind your business. I feel like man, somebody's mad because you're protected because that spells ain't working. You focus on becoming a businessman or woman. I feel like people see that, and I feel like you did create some, like, not, well, I don't, you didn't create it. They created it, but, you know, people got jealous because they were like, I want a business too. They felt like a loser. They are a loser, all right? <laughs> all right, some of y'all could be a Leo, dealing with a Leo, all right? This could be a fake-ass Leo, all right? But you guys got the spotlight. It's like their black magic just put you in the spotlight, all right? Got milk, all right? Some of you guys are very sexy, flirty. I told you, somebody wanted you. Like, a whole bunch of masculine just wanted you. But you like a nurturing, you know, mother for them, all right? You can help them end those demons that's keeping them with karmic cycles. But they got to fucking chill chill first. This is someone, somebody's not eating good. That's what's blocking them from being a medium or blocking their channel. Like, this is someone, they don't want to do the proper work, all right? They don't want to, look, you're receiving downloads, downloads times two. Look at that. Spiritualism downloads. I feel like somebody wants to learn how to receive downloads from spirit. So spirit can help them hit lottery. Spirit can help like tell them what's going on. Nah, they don't need spirit in their life. They don't they don't need spirit in their life. That's exactly what I'm getting. They need a life coach. Okay, that's what they need. Okay, Aries energy. This could be an Aries that need a life coach, or you could be an Aries. All right. So this person, I feel like they need to heal. They need to like sleep and rest. They need to slow down. They don't they don't need look five five changes is happening. All right, a lot of numbers. All right, this person they don't need spirit like that. Not the way, not not the way they think. They they need you know proper guidance with spirit. It's not someone that can just go ahead and command spirit because spirit ain't gonna like them. All right, because they asking for shit that's not necessary. Intuition, imagination, sensitivity, and calm. Y'all, my nose be running when I channel too long. All right, but um, but I'm not sick. Your intuition is telling you that you're going through a cosmic change, and I feel like other people. Spirit and God is allowing them to see that no matter what they did or do to try to stop you, it's not going to work. Yeah, someone's a warlock. I told you, this was a masculine. Mainly like a masculine, but this could have been a female too. A female and a, and a um a man. Some of y'all could be Scorpios like me, or you're dealing with a Scorpio, a karmic Scorpio. All right, I feel like some of y'all could have been dealing with a karmic Scorpio. Somebody was like really evil. Could have Scorpio in a chart, very revengeful. Could have like a Scorpio rising or um a Scorpio north node. Very evil. Okay, and um, you are the opposite. You're a good Scorpio. Leave her alone. 
Yeah, this could be a Taurus. Like I said, opposite. Scorpio and Taurus are opposites here. Stop it. Somebody North Node could be Taurus. Yeah, I feel like somebody's jealous because your indigo child or like your indigo light DNA shines more, stands out more. They're sad. All right, and you're protected by Shango. That's a that's a part of your your divine bright light protection. Somebody's really jealous of the fact that you're protected by God too. They didn't even know what divine bright white light was. All right, that was a, they that that was their moment then to learn about it, but they didn't want to learn. Going around spending lies and rumors, telling people that you doing this, you doing that. The fuck is wrong with them? And then making people not trust you. Like you that's why they get in karma. You listen, they gonna know how it feels when people just don't want to fuck with them. They're like, damn, bro, I'm trying to, you know, my home my homie acting funny with me and shit. You know why? You know, it's because you was acting funny with divine feminine. The fuck? Who wanna fuck with a op? The whole op out here in these streets. And these cars gonna call you a op because cause they don't like you. Karma for y'all karmic ass masculines and that karmic ass girlfriend, that karmic couple. Okay, even though she tried to be your friend, she still chose the karmic um, route, option, instead of the righteous thing. But y'all have a great day. Namaste. Okay.